it's time for a 4K collection update. Get on with it. What's going on guys? I hope you're well. What's going on you bastards? It's me, back at it again with another video. Yeah, it's been almost fucking two, three years since I've done a 4K collection update. So I thought, in the spirit of it, I wanted to do one because I wanted to just keep basically a mental note of all the 4Ks that I picked up since the last video. So, without any further ado, I'm just going to go through my releases and hopefully you can be like, oh, that's cool, I didn't know you had that. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know you had that. Maybe some opinions of some of these 4K transfers will be like, you know what, maybe I will go pick that up. So without any further ado, let's just get on with it, right? Uh, first off, uh, one of the best transfers that I've seen, and that is Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. It's fantastic, looks absolutely gorgeous on the 4K. A lot of people apparently say uh, black and white films don't benefit from a 4K transfer. They clearly have not seen the universal transfer for the 4K of Psycho. Honestly, it's incredible, and this still book is one of my favourites. Absolutely adore this. Fantastic film. Following one, you've got, you got the Bird still book there. Done an unboxing for this on the channel. Link in the description if you want to see that. Vertigo, which is quite nice as well. I haven't opened that one yet, which is yet yeah, on my watch list. Uh, we've got also Rear Window, which is very nice. They're all basically, we've got the Alfred Hitchcock the silhouette on the back. It's very nice. Don't Look Now, that is a recent pickup from last month. Uh, yeah, got this on 4K. Uh, Studio Canal do really good transfers and I've heard really good things about the psychological horror. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. I uh, got Gremlins from Warner Brothers. This is a really good transfer, really colourful, uh, really good sound as well. Really enhances uh, all that Christmassy vibes to it. Yeah, I think it's one of the best ones. And I still can't believe we haven't got Gremlins 2 on 4K yet. Warner Brothers, what are you fucking doing, you bastard? Gremlins on 4K. For the love of Christ, please. Pay we got a set, we got a stint of uh, John Carpenter films now. So we've got the original Halloween there. This is the Zavi exclusive one. For over here, I think this was also a Walmart or Best Buy exclusive in America. But yeah, it's a pretty good transfer. Pre uh, pretty clean, bit noisy. Uh, I've, the Screen Factory transfer is a lot better than this one now. But yeah, still, it's still an alright transfer. Not bad. I got the Fog, got a really good uh, Studio Canal transfer here. Got uh, yeah, really good, really spooky, really good music as well. John Carpenter is one of my favourites for music. They Live, another really great film. This is my second favourite John Carpenter film. Really enjoy this. Really love the messages and the metaphor in this movie, really enjoy it, really good, and that fight scene in the alley is hilarious. Escape from New York, yet to see it, I heard it's really good as well, I heard it's another great transfer. Prince of Darkness, I have seen, it's a really good one, very atmospheric, really love the uh, dark, the vibes that it gives off. Yeah, brilliant artwork on the front of all of these actually, and yeah, a really good transfer, all the colours look very evil and sinister, and it's really good, really like it actually. And you've got the universal transfer of a... Uh, uh, the thing which is nice. I'm glad that they kept in line with the same like that so it doesn't look too out of place on the shelf which is nice but yeah that is the thing by John Carpenter. Uh, Beetlejuice yeah this is a really good transfer and it, honestly all the stop motion stuff looks incredible colours look incredible as well really good transfer really good uh, performances all round really good Tim Burton film really good Michael Keaton performance and everyone else in it, in it is great and Winona Ryder is lovely in it isn't she always got the original Scream yeah really good transfer I think they did a really good job on this one Paramount did a really good clean up on this look so crisp really good and the sound quality was fantastic I've yet to see it yet but I've got Scream 2 also on 4k can't wait for Scream 3 to come out and Scream 4 uh, yeah I love how they're keeping with these slips that are great uh, the 2021 Scream yeah really like it have yet to rewatch it but saw it in the cinema second favorite in the series actually controversial well, quite a lot of people I know spoke to said that this is their second favorite but yeah, no, really good. Really love the cast. I really love this cover as well. Really good. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about Scream 6, though. We'll have to, have to just to wait and see. Uh, we've got Saw. Yeah, pretty good. It's a nice trans upgrade from the DVD, I must admit, because that's what I have. I don't have the Blu-ray, so yeah, this is a nice upgrade. Uh, we've got Jigsaw. Picked this up for a tenner when um, uh, the next film that I'm going to mention came out. But yeah, no. Uh, yet to watch uh, this transfer, but I quite enjoy Jigsaw to an extent. It's not one of my favourites in the series, but yeah, no. And then we've got the Spiral Stillbook. Uh, because I didn't really, I didn't really like the green that they went with the uh, the slip. So yeah, I picked up the still book instead. But this was an alright film as well. It doesn't have that es es that essential sore feeling to it at times, which is strange. But you know, it is what it is. So take it how you will. I'm just getting a drink of Fanta. All right, all right. Cheers to that. Uh, we've got the Purge collection here. So this is the first three. I haven't got the Forever Purge or the first Purge yet which I still need to. This box is already battered and I haven't even watched any of these films on these discs yet. No, but I really do, uh, really love the second one. 
third one's pretty good and the first one's a bit meh, but no, that's the Purge films. Did really glad to get that. Got a tenor off as well. Always love it when a 4K box gets a tenor off. Got Cabin in the Woods. Yep, really good film, really creative, really fun. One of my favourites of the late 2000s. It was really good. I really enjoyed this when I saw this. Uh, Halloween, Titans of Cult still book, uh, the 2018 edition. Yeah, really good. I had the Blu-ray for the longest time and then I got this for Christmas, so it's really nice to have this on 4K, which is good. Uh, Halloween Kills, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I've watched a recent review and I want to go back with fresh eyes on it because it's like that uh, Halloween 2018 and this film are supposed to be one big film and then Halloween Ends comes out. So with that new appreciation, I kind of want to go in and have another look at it and see how I feel about it. But yeah, that's Halloween Kills. Don't want to slip, to be fair. Halloween Ends comes out soon. I don't know if I'm going to drop this after Halloween Ends comes out, so who knows. Uh, Doctor Sleep, yeah, it was alright. People said this was really good, but I kind of... Uh, I watched it after The Shining, and I think The Shining, yeah, I think it's a way better film, so I think that kind of dampened my experience with this, but it was still good. I liked Ewan McGregor. There's a few faces in there that I really liked. Uh, Candyman... Uh, the 2019 edition, the uh, version, or 2020, can't remember. Uh, yeah, really good, really enjoyed this. Jordan Peele and um, everyone involved did a really good job. Yeah, no, really good. I really like um, what's his face from, who plays uh, Black Mamba from Aquaman. He's great as um, the lead in this. He's really good, really enjoy him as an actor, actually. I've uh, got Nope. Fantastic transfer, looks incredible, sounds incredible. Yeah, this is a really good 4K disc. I recommend highly everyone go pick this up on 4K because, yeah, it's a really good twist. Got Don't Worry Darling, uh, The Northman, uh, favourite film of last year. Parasite, incredible, looks incredible on 4K, honestly. Oh, so glad to have this 4K still book in my collection. Love this film so much. Uh, Blade Runner, getting into the sci-fi films now. Yep, yeah, uh, one of the best 4K transfers, one of Ridley Scott's best films. Yeah, incredible, love this movie. Uh, the Jurassic Park uh, trilogy, the original one, so uh, Jurassic Park, Lost the Lost World are number three. Yeah, I haven't upgraded the other one. I haven't got Dominion and haven't upgraded them to 4K, but no, yeah, the pitch transfers on these are really good. Uh, really fun movies. I really enjoy them. Even Jurassic Park 3. I went into it thinking, oh, this isn't going to be as strong as the first two, and I thought it just held up as well as the, uh, those two as well. Yeah, really enjoy this trilogy. I think it's really good. Spielberg did a really good job on these, and I really enjoy the casting throughout all. We've got the fifth element, yet to see it. Uh, hear good things about it, and it's wacky as hell. Uh, Total Recall, I uh, haven't watched it in years, but I picked up the 4K when it was in an offer, so yeah, very nice to have it with the slip, it looks great. Uh, we got Godzilla, the 98 edition, the first actual Godzilla movie I saw. Uh, I saw this, then I saw the original. Uh, but no, yeah, really enjoy this. I think the 4K transfer is pretty good as well. Sounds really good, really thought this sounded really good, but yeah, no, it was, it was alright to be fair. I, I do really enjoy the movie, pitch could be a bit better in places, but no, yeah. Godzilla. Speaking on the uh, theme of that, I'm going to talk about some of the bigger box sets that I have lingering on top of the shelves and stuff like that. So we do have, um, speaking of Godzilla, we do have the Mammoth Steelbook franchise, uh, the Zavi exclusive uh, Steelbook collection here with all the uniform art. So there's the original Godzilla there for you. Uh, I've done a, a video on unboxing, which I'll link to the description. Uh, yeah, really love this set. I really love the MonsterVerse and yeah, nice to have this. Uh, one because I know they do a lot of still book sets like this like the only other one that was ever really interested me super much loads But I was out of print before I knew about these is the Batman ones well, We'll talk about them later. Uh, yeah, no lovely love these still books so happy to have this in my collection. It is Gorgeous got a load of arrow box sets actually that we'll, I will talk about uh, we've got wild things I haven't yet to open this and watch this I need to get around to doing that because I hear good things about this film But yeah, no that's Wild Things. I've got a run of Argento films here. So we've got a Bird for the Crystal, Bird with the Crystal Plumage. We've got Cat and Nine Tails. Really like Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Uh, you've got uh, D Red. Really like this one as well. Incredible score on this one. Really love that one. And Phenomena, uh, which I've yet to open yet. But no, they're all stint on 4Ks. I absolutely love it. I don't have the Tanabray one, and I think I've missed out on the box set. To be fair, but I'm kind of. Don't really, I'm kind of over collecting the big box sets, I think, at the moment. I've kind of got over that stint of it, you know? Like, not everything needs to be... But that's how they get you, don't you? They they draw out the collector in you, and they're like, no, you've got to get all of them, and you're just like, oh, go on then, here's another 40 quid, you bastard. You got me again, and then next thing you get it delivers, and you're like, was this really worth it? And they announce the next one, and you're just like, here's another 40, you bastards. But that's how, that's how they do it. They fucking love it. And so do we, because we get nice box sets, so... It's a double-edged sword. Speaking of nice box set, got the Children of the Corn box set. Actually, only one of these is 4K, so the original Children of the Corn is 4K, but the uh, other two uh, Blu-rays in there, uh, the other two are there, and Blu-rays. One of my favourite 4K editions is the 
Battle Royale set. Uh, I've only there's both of the films are in this. Only the first one is on 4K, but both cuts are on 4K. Uh, no, yeah, L done a review for this as well. Link in the description is uh, my f most popular or my second popular most video on the channel. Either way, love this film. It's beautiful from the score, the acting, the pacing, the cinematography, oh, just the gruesomeness of it, the realism of it. Like, oh, all of this is fantastic. Yeah, look how chunky this set is. All of this, this was probably one of the best, like, £60 that I spent, to be fair, on any physical media release, because, yeah, this was really worth it, because I was blown away by the film when I first watched it. Incredible. Uh, we've got American Werewolf in London, incredible uh, incredible film, uh, really good work on the 4K transfer on this one, yeah, really glad that they re-released it, so, because I was really gutted that I missed out on the big Blu-ray box set, this is, like, one of the ones, I like this, and Candyman, which I have yet to pick up. Uh, or two that I really wish I could get the big box sets for. So I was really glad that they did re-release this, so it's nice. So I'm not too bad, miffed about the same artwork, but I do feel a bit shitty for collectors who already bought the Blu-ray and it's the, the same artwork, you know. At least the Donnie Darko one was different to the Blu-ray one, you know. You know, uh, one of my favourite 4K transfers from Arrow is Tremors. This is incredible. Uh, this Blown away by this film, Kevin Bacon is incredible. Honestly, pick up Tremors. Uh, you can get the standard edition now. Uh, reverse the artwork on this one, but you can get the uh, this on standard edition. Recommend picking this up. It's really, really good, and I really enjoy this film. R great creature feature. Uh, True Romance. This is another great one as well. Another great um, transfer. Uh, directed by Tony Scott. Uh, screenplay and written by uh, Tarantino. Yeah, really good. Uh, look at the cast alone. Incredible, just like that. Oh, this is another one of Vel Kilmer's films that I've seen him in. I was having a, trying to make a list of films that I've seen Vel Kilmer in. We've got the Donnie Darko set. Yep, transfer's incredible. Absolutely love this. Like I said, different to the Blu-ray box set, which is exactly what collectors need. But yeah, incredible film. Dune by David Lynch. This is the Zavi exclusive still book. Really good transfer on this as well. Really like this film. Some people don't, but I quite like it. People say it's a slog, but I quite like it because it's got a lot of David Lynch wackiness to it. And I quite like the story of Dune. In a lot of ways, I prefer it to the new one, but I also really like the new one, so don't get it twisted, all right? The Hills of Eyes by Wes Craven, uh, one of my favorite 70s horror movies. Really good. This is probably the best films I'm going to look. You're not get It's one of those films that was made really cheaply, so it's not going to look incredible ever, but this did sort out a lot of lighting issues for me. I did really enjoy this disc over the Blu-ray one. And it's, again, nice to have this on the big box set instead of just a standard release, because, yeah, I really like this film. Uh, same with American Werewolf in London. It's nice to have the limited edition version of a film that I really, really enjoy. Yeah, and the uh, behind-the-scenes documentary on this, the big 50-minute one, I really enjoyed. Really good. It's really nice to sit down with the cast and crew about how they got on with this film. It's really good. Really enjoy it. Uh, we got Get Carter, which I got for Christmas. Uh, I've yet to watch this um, film, so I can't really t t tell you too much about it, unfortunately. We've got the Transformers, uh, the movie, the 80s movie, uh, Shout Factory limited edition. Yeah, absolutely love this edition. Got a uh, link in the description for the unboxing as well. Speaking of Shout Factory, got a run of Screen Factory films here that I want to show you. So we've got Halloween 1. Uh, like I said, this transfer is way better. This uh, 2021 transfer is way better than the fucking other transfer that I mentioned earlier, which I can't remember who releases it. I can't be asked to look right now. Uh, Halloween 2, another great transfer. Halloween 3, my personal favourite of the first five uh, 4K transfers to get. Really colourful, looks really great, and the music is incredible as well. Really good. Halloween 4, oh, most underrated sequel. Fucking phenomenal film. Really love this. Always recommend Halloween 4. It's really good. And then Halloween 5. Yeah, look really good as well. Uh, quite, I quite enjoy this to some extent. Always do have done with the Halloween franchise, but yeah, no. Really like this as well. And the best of films I've ever looked, so I can't complain. I still need to pick up the box set with um, the rest of them in, but yeah. So that's something else I need to do. And final shout factory is Krampus the Naughty Cut, which I, I hadn't seen Krampus, and I picked this version up because I wanted to see the most definitive version of it. So yeah, and yeah, it comes with both cuts on this anyway, I think. So uh, we've got Uncut Gems by the Zafty Brothers. Really love this. Really good transfer. Brilliantly done. Anxiety inducing all the way. Fantastic piece of cinema. Really love this one. I uh, got Mulholland Drive as well from that first wave of 4K films. Uh, I was supposed to get a replacement disc for this because uh, the actual 4K disc doesn't work, which is really fucking annoying. But I can get the standard uh, transfer, which is basically the same one in it from the other one. But yeah, it's more about the limited edition content on this, and having this in my collection is really nice because I really love Mulholland Drive. Really great David Lynch piece. Really love this. 
Uh, that is not actually the last David Lynch film to hear in this collection. We'll get back to him later. Uh, we've got the Babadook Standard Edition there. Didn't get the big box set of it because I hadn't actually seen it, but it's good to have the uh, 4K. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of the fact that it's only got one disc, so I can't watch the film and then be like, oh, I really enjoyed that, and then go back and watch the 4K, you know? Uh, and we've also got The Witch here. This I did get the big limited edition box set for because this film I absolutely love. I love Robert Eggers, so, like, I can't wait for whoever to do The Lighthouse uh, on 4K because we've obviously now got this on 4K. The Northman came out on standard 4K, and, yeah, so it would be good to get The Lighthouse. But, no, this edition's really good. We've got the crow and the, and the goat in the background. And you got the rabbit and everything. Oh, so, so creepy. Honestly, Anna Taylor Joy in this was really good. And Second Side do a really good job on their transfers. Yeah, yeah. And this came with the Blu rays, so, which was really nice. That is the end of the edition Blu rays that I had, all the big box sets and stuff like that. Well, I've got more box sets, which I'm going to quickly go through now. I actually just lied to you. I've got four more boutique labels to show off, and they're all Arrow. So you've got Arrow Academies. Cinema Paladisio, if you had to check this out, I heard this is a beautiful piece of cinema, and I'd love to have this with it. I'm glad I have it with the slip, though. Uh, got King of New York. Yeah, pretty good film, actually. Quite enjoy it, to be fair. Quite a good crime thriller, crime drama. Did enjoy it. Christopher Walkins was really good. Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, Steve, whatever his face is, from Armageddon, he was really good as well. Uh, Old Boy, one of my, by one of my favourite directors, uh, Pak Chan-wok. Really loved this film. Really good. Kind of wish they would do Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Lady Vengeance on Steelbook as well to go with this. But no, really love this 4K. So good. Love this film. So fucked up. So fucked up. And finally got the Robocop Steelbook as well. So I've got the limited edition Blu-ray and I now have the 4K Steelbook, which is nice. As exact. That's something as, as well. Like, if you're just going to do a big 4K box set or something, or... If you're gonna re-release it in Stillbook or something, like do it like that, yeah. Because but this is still the original artwork on the same Stillbook, so but I didn't have this either, because yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit hit and miss. But no, I did re watch this transfer recently with my old housemate George. I went round his and we watched um, a couple of films together. Uh, yeah, no, really enjoyed Robocop. It was really good. But you'll hear about more of that, that in a future video. So stick around. Some more big box sets of just standard films. We have the Harry Potter collection. I've yet to crack into this. I had the first three look incredible. Especially those first two. And they look really good. And when it gets a bit more darker and um, here it gets a bit uh, harder to watch. But no, yeah, still I hear good things about these transfers. Love these films. So it's good to have them in the collection anyway. Got the Matrix uh, trilogies. I've only watched the... Uh, first Matrix movie on the 4K disc, but it looked incredible. So yeah, can't wait to crack on with the other two when I finally get around to it. Got the Planet of the Apes uh, collection trilogy, so Rise, Dawn and War. Uh, really love these films. These are Matt Reeves films. I think he did a really good job on these ones. Yeah, really enjoy these. Uh, can't wait to be able to watch them on the 4K disc, though, because that's going to be really, really good. Got I Am Legend, which is a great Will Smith movie. War of the Worlds, this is a really good Paramount transfer as well. Really enjoy it as well. Good Tom Cruise movie. Uh, Looper, this is really good. Bruce Willis, uh, <clears throat> Bruce Willis, Jason Gordon-Levitt, Emily Blunt, they're all great in this. Really good uh, time travel, time loop movie. Really enjoy it. Quite underrated, if you ask me. Uh, Pacific Rim, yep, incredible Del Toro movie. Fantastic transfer. Absolutely love this. The HDR looks incredible. Fucking one of the best 4K transfers I've ever seen. Definitely get this one, honestly. Warner Brothers do a really good job with this. The Power Rangers movie, yep, really good transfer as well. Really enjoy this. Really fun. I think it's quite underrated. So sad we're not actually going to get a sequel. Uh, Bumblebee, another great transfer as well. I'm glad that uh, Battle Beast is coming out. Yeah, and it's following on from uh, this timeline because, yeah, this is a way, way, it was way more enjoyable than the last two Transformers movies. So, yeah, it's good to have this in the collection. Uh, you got Dune. Uh, I've yet to check this transfer out, but I've heard this is one of the best transfers of last year. And, yeah, it was a pretty good film. I quite enjoyed it. Lost, lost me in the last 20 minutes, but, yeah, still really enjoyed, really enjoyed it, if you ask me. Didn't have Star Wars films now, so we've got Rogue One. Uh... Solo Story, uh, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and uh, Rise of Skywalker. I have the original I have the original trilogy and the prequels on a Blu-ray set. I've had that for ages since I first like start collecting Blu-rays. I have not yet had the money to upgrade them to 4K, which I will be doing eventually. But yeah, no. Those are all the Star Wars films. As I, you saw the big MonsterVerse box set, but I do also have these uh, in standard still book form. We have the new gods. That was the newer transfer, which is the same in that one now, because uh, uh, it fixed a lot of the problems with the last transfer that they did. Which um, yeah, they did really fix the brightness problems on it, which was nice. 
but yeah, that's Godzilla. Uh, the Zav exclusive Kong Skull Island 4K steelbook. Absolutely love this uh, steelbook. I love that design on there. Very comic booky. Very fun. Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, the first 4K I ever got and first 4K steelbook I ever got as well, so very nice. And the lovely Godzilla vs Kong steelbook as well, absolutely love this, can't wait to see what they do next in the franchise, really excited. But yeah, no, these transfers all look incredible, they're just absolutely phenomenal, mind-blowing, love them all. Uh, we got Knives Out, which I recently just picked up at HMV, uh, because it was 9 99 because obviously Glass Onion's just come out. Uh, I need to re-watch Knives Out because I was sort of half falling asleep when I watched it. But yeah, no. Uh, got Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Uh, we've got Last Night in Soho. This is a really good 4K transfer. The colours are really good. Edgar Wright did a very good job on this horror movie. I think it's one of his best films, personally. Uh, you've got The Elephant Man. I need to watch this. It's one of the few David Lynch films I have yet to see. Uh, got Goodfellas by Martin Scorsese. Yep, really good 4K transfer. Really good mob film. Really enjoyed this. Robert De Niro. Ray LaRota La La and Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro. They're all great, honestly, all great. Uh, Casino, really good transfer, really great uh, mob movie as well. I kind of prefer this a little bit in some ways to Goodfellas, which is probably a bit controversial. But I know, I think it's because Robert De Niro and uh, Joe Pesci are just interacting with each other more, and I prefer that. Like, I prefer they get they get more of the screen on the, in this movie, so that's why I prefer it probably. But yeah, no, really good film. And Sharon Stone is also incredible as well. Uh, got Shutter Island, uh, yep, love this film, really good, really good Scorsese film. Got Doctor Strange Love, which I got that for my last birthday. Uh, Spartacus, which I uh, got it as a deal for nine ninety nine. Uh, we got Two Thousand One: Space Odyssey, a fantastic movie, absolutely love it. It's fucking incredible. Uh, got a review and unboxing for this. Links to just both of them in the description. But yeah, love a Clockwork Orange. I think it's a really good transfer as well. Really love Warner Brother transfers. The, uh, the Shining as well, fantastic 4K transfer, incredible movie, love the pacing, the music, the score, the acting, everything about this film, love The Shining, so good. We've got Full Metal Jacket, another really good 4K transfer, this one's a really good one, great anti-war film, incredible. The first 50 minutes in the boot camp, incredible, when we're in Vietnam, incredible, honestly, yeah, harrowing in a lot of ways, but also a really great film. We've got the Dark Knight trilogy. All three of these films look incredible. They look better as it goes along because you get more and more of the IMAX shots. The Dark Knight Rises looks fucking phenomenal in so many different aspects. Really great. I would really recommend picking up the Dark Knight trilogy on 4K. Also got Inception as well. Another really great 4K disc as well. Um, again, more Warner Brothers transfers. <laughs> I think I just think they do a really good job, and I think they do yeah release really good discs. So Inception, really good film. I do really want to give this a rewatch because it has a, it has been a good four years now since I picked this up and saw it. But no, yeah, really good, really enjoy it. Another great piece by Le with Leonardo DiCaprio in. Been talking for quite a while. Uh, got Snatch, uh, got The Gentleman, another good 4K disc there. Apocalypse Now, really good 4K disc there. Sorry, uh, the final cut in there, standard edition. Uh, we've got Fury, uh, one of my favorite war movies is really good, yet to see the 4K disc. Hacksaw Ridge, yep, no, really good. Love this cover as well, incredible. Uh, got A Few Good Men. Recently watched this, but hear more about that in an upcoming video. Saving Private Ryan, not too good, not the best transfer. This is uh, probably one of Paramount's more weaker transfers. Quite grey, grainy, but I still enjoy the film nevertheless. Uh, you got Top Gun, uh, which is yeah, a really good transfer as well. I quite enjoy this one. But uh, Top Gun Maverick, on the other hand, was a way better transfer and probably a way better film as well. Did really enjoy this film. Oh, incredible. What can I say? Go watch this movie. I've uh, got Collateral with Jay, uh, Tom... Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, yeah, it's really good, really good thriller. Uh, Backdraft, haven't seen it. Citizen Kane. Uh, the Many Saints of New York. Newark. Uh, American Psycho, yep, incredible uh, film starring Patrick Bateman. Uh, Basic Instinct, really good uh, erotic thriller with Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone in it. Uh, Requ Requiem for a Dream, the director's cut, I've yet to see this. Heard it is a fucking wild anxiety induced ride and I can't wait to see it so can't wait to sit down and watch that uh, got the X-Men the first three X-Men films here have yet to watch them I haven't watched them in quite a while but I still really enjoyed them for what they were back in the day and Logan is the only other one that I got on 4k got that for a tenner back in uh, last year or so yeah no really good got both of the Spider-Man uh, packs here so you've got the uh, Tobey Maguire films and you've got the Andrew Garfield films with these transfers got both videos for these links in the description but yeah 
really good. Love but love all of these films, and the, as the films get go along, as you watch the films, the transfers get better. So people say so. Arguably the worst America, uh, Amazing Spider Man two has the best 4K transfer. It's fucking phenomenal, honestly. Give it a watch. It's one of the best ways to watch the film. Carrying on with Spider-Man, we got Into the Spider-Verse. I haven't, I haven't unboxed this, but I have seen the 4K transfer because my old housemate used to have the 4K steelbook. It's so good. Uh, you got Venom. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, transfer, I mean. Venom 2. Uh, Homecoming. Far From Home, great 4K transfer on that one. And with No Way Home, incredible 4K transfer. I really love this film. Oh, so enjoyable. You've also got a stint of Mundo still books here. So we've got the first Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron, uh, Infinity War, and we've got Endgame there. Mainly wanted them for Endgame and Infinity War, but I wanted, I wanted to get the whole Avengers as like a little set. Uh, we've got Black Widow, which is okay. Uh, Shang-Chi, which is also all right. Uh, and you've got Eternals, which I quite enjoy, actually, personally. Haven't picked up Doctor Strange or Thor, Love and Thunder or... Black Panther's not out yet, is it? Um, so yeah, but in no rush to pick those up, really. So I was mentioning the Zavi still books earlier. I didn't get the big set, but I did get the individual still books. So I've got the Batman still book here. Then you've got Batman Returns, which is my fa favorite of uh, any Batman movie. I love this movie, so good. Uh, Batman Forever, which is my least favorite in the franchise. And you've got Batman and Robin, which is yeah, quite. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's probably my biggest guilty pleasure. In all of film. Carrying on with DC related stuff, we've got uh, V for Vendetta, fantastic Warner Brothers transfer there. Same with Watchmen, another great one. This is the Ultimate Edition, like the long ass cut. Uh, Man of Steel, yep, really great 4K transfer as well. Uh, Batman v Superman, the Ultimate Edition with all the IMAX shots inserted as well. Phenomenal, the fight between Batman and Superman looks insane. Uh, Suicide Squad picked up for cheap, don't really like it. Uh, Wonder Woman, yeah, pretty good 4K transfer. CGI is a bit ropey in places, but what can you do? Zack Snyder's Justice League, phenomenal, f like mm, epic piece. Yeah, all the IMAX stuff. Yeah, fantastic 4K disc. Really recommend this. Really like this actually because I've been, it's a big epic superhero piece, and I, yeah, I just enjoy that about it really. Got Shazam. Got the four. I wanted to upgrade this to 4K, and I got the Zavi exclusive still book. Aquaman, really good transfer, really colourful, really enjoy it. Birds of Prey, I really enjoy it. A lot of people give this movie shit, but I think it's really fun and really enjoyable. And I think it was a really good redemption for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, because she played a really good Harley Quinn in one of the shittiest movies in DC history, The First Suicide Squad. And if you disagree with me, I don't care, because it is one of the worst movies in the entire DCEU, along with the original uh, Justice League cut. I think actually probably yeah it comes come second because the Justice League is terrible. Anyway, carrying on, uh, the the better Suicide Squad movie, fantastic movie, really love this. Uh, love Peacemaker as well, really good follow on. Honestly, do really good 4K transfer as well. Uh, Wonder Woman 84, haven't watched it yet. I heard shitty things about it. Joker, yeah, really good tra uh, really good transfer, but it's just king of comedy really, isn't it? Uh, this in it, it's just literally the same film. And then you've got the Batman, which is a really good transfer, uh, but it's a bit long and drags in a lot of in a bit a few places. But I still really enjoy it. I still really enjoy the film. Also got Black Klansman, uh, which is a really good uh, Spike Spike Lee film. Really good film. Uh, got Blues Brothers, which I picked this up for a tenner or twelve pounds uh, on 4K with the slip, which is really rare because everywhere I go, it always doesn't have the slip. Uh, you got Toy Story One on Steelbook, Toy Story Two on Steelbook. And Toy Story 3 on still, but all Zavi exclusives. They've yet to done number four in that style. I'd really like it if they would. That would be great. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Incredible 4K transfer. Another Warner Brothers great one. Looks so colourful. Really pops. Got the Goonies. Uh, picked that up because I really wanted to give it a rewatch. Got it for cheap, actually. Same with uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I have seen this, but I got the 4K for like 11 99 which is really good with the slip. Yeah, no. Really enjoy it. Really good film. Uh, Lion King, one of my favourite animation animated films of all time, so I had to have it in the collection. Uh, Jumanji, this was like a pricing error, like this edition here was like six ninety nine, where like and then you go to the normal four K section, there was loads for like fucking still like all of the other editions were for like nineteen ninety nine. So I'm glad that I got this edition because there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, fun film as well with Robin Williams. I got Elf, picked that up over Christmas. Uh, Cruella, I quite enjoy this. A few people don't, but I don't give a shit. 
Uh, you've got the Lego uh, Part 2 movie, because I picked this up for like £5 off Amazon, which is a great deal. And the final 4K disc that I have, which looks phenomenal on 4K because of all the colours. And that's this Lego Batman movie. Fun film. Honestly, really good. <laughs> Even better than the Lego movie. Yeah, no. Lego Batman movie is a really fun Lego movie and a really fun DC movie. So, yeah. Highly recommend this. That's all my 4Ks. I'll put in the title how many there are. I can't be asked to count it right now because this is just taking the fucking life out of me recording this. Jesus. Um, no, yeah. I hope you did enjoy. Is there any 4K discs in here that you think is really good that I should add to the top of my list that I said I haven't seen? Um, let me know. Let me know which of these films you think is like incredible and like, yeah, honestly. But that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.